The Masters was so exciting. Even Demonze was super into it on Easter Sunday. Okay, yeah. So that's Demonze at my mom's house asleep with John Rahm getting ready to pick up undoubtedly what was another birdie putt for him. And uh, I was asleep upstairs. And you were asleep upstairs. That's true. That is, I mean, those it is a rough look for our pal hey, Demonze. The zoom in. <laughs> I mean, the zoom in is not doing him any favors. He had a nice fit on though. Uh, but go ahead. What's your question? Okay. Um, on the master. What, what were your thoughts on it? How was? Uh, you don't have a master's question, do you? You just did this to make fun of me. Yeah, basically. All right. So, I have master's thoughts, then I have Easter Sunday thoughts. Master's thoughts is Rombo man came through for me. Put a nice wager on John Rom on Thursday. He looks so excited talking about it. Right I now. love the Masters. I love it. Oh, really? Yeah. I, really? What? I never heard you. Okay, talk stop. That's not. That's all. not true. It, it, uh, you just tune me out when I'm talking golf. Now, typically, I root for Tiger, and I did put a small wager on Tiger oh. as well. But okay, don't yawn into the microphone. You can be bored by the golf talk. The audience is here for the golf talk. Is the audience? The audience is here for the golf talk. Talk. Tiger made the cut, twenty three straight. Has never missed a cut as a professional. Tied the record. Shout out Tiger, and then he then he withdrew because he was hurt and playing terribly. But that's fine. Made the cut. The story of the Masters. I'm going to check Instagram while you keep talking. Okay, no problem. Let's do it silently, please. Mm -hmm. uh, the story of the Masters. Sub stories, Phil Mickelson shooting a 65 on Sunday and the crowd not really supporting him the way they once did because he went to the live tour. I thought that was interesting, but the bigger story of course was John Rahm who double bogeyed the first hole of the tournament with a four putt and then won the thing going away. A remarkable really final 71 holes for a guy that really could peel a bunch of majors now. And, you know, this was a really good opportunity for Brooks, who hasn't won a major in a few years. He's now also on the live tour to get that fifth major. And this is what I don't think uh, people totally understand, which is the, all right, Dior is really disinterested, but that's fine. I'm going to get into it. You're going to keep the, going? I'm going to keep going for a moment here. Mm, okay. So Brooks Kapka is at four majors, which is a great number. Don't get me wrong. It's it, it's the same as Rory. It's the same as Ernie Els. It's the same as, so Dior, back when golf just had the British Open, the best golfer alive was a guy named Tom Morris Sr. We called him old Tom Morris. This was 1800s. Guess who became the greatest golfer in the world after old Tom Morris? Who? Young Tom Morris. Tom Morris Jr. They oh, my God. Isn't that cool? Uh, but so those guys each have four, four majors. It's once you get to five plus, you get to legendary status. So Phil, the second best golfer of his own era, has five. Nick Faldo, who you hear at every Masters, has six. Arnold Palmer, a top 10 golfer ever, is at seven. So for Brooks to have a chance to get number five, have a big lead, it's a big miss for him. And I love Brooks, but that's a big miss for him. For John Rahm, on the other hand, you now have the question of, now that he has his second, he's won two in the last two and a half seasons, having won the Open, or the U.S. Open, pardon me, two years ago, having he has a top five at the, the Open that same year and now won the Masters. Can he get up to where Rory is, who hasn't won a major in a decade? Can he do that, or is it going to be more of a Jordan Spieth you know, trajectory where he wins a few early and then falls off some? I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, I was excited for it. I was happy for Sam Bennett, the amateur, who had a really nice showing. It was a great, it was a great Sunday. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.